Welcome to another 365 Days Project Video Podcast tutorial. Uh, this is Stephen Poff talking. And um, I have this uh, picture of me standing out here in the rain. And uh, except that um, this was not actually me standing in rain. This is a picture um, back uh, earlier during the year, I believe back in February. And um, this is uh, I was just standing in the middle of the road. Now, why I have my hands up, I'm not exactly sure at this point. I forgot. But um, it does look like it's about to rain. So um, I had had someone um, mention uh, I had another photo where I had uh, had added some rain to a photo and during uh, for a composite and um, asked how I did it. So I thought I'd show you. Um, well, the first thing we're going to do, and there's many ways of doing this, but um, I'm going to show you my way. Um, I'm going to throw away uh, these two layers that I did here. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer. Go down to the bottom of the layers palette and uh, make a new layer. I'm going to go to edit, fill, and I'm going to fill with 50% uh, gray. All right, then I'm going to go up to filter, noise add noise now this is to taste but i'm gonna i'm gonna make some kind of smaller far more far away rain here and i'm gonna make that at about i don't know about 117 or so that looks okay um, i'm using monochromatic as um as well um and as far as gaussian or uniform i don't really think it makes a difference in this application so i'm gonna hit okay i'm gonna go to filter Blur and then motion blur. Now this is what's going to give us um, the size and the length of our rain. So you can kind of see how that's going to look. Now you can have like kind of a sideways rain if it's coming down really hard, but I think this is more of a drizzle. So I'm going to come kind of almost straight down here and I can make a long distance there. Now you notice here at the top it looks a little funny, and we're going to address that a little bit but for right now this is okay so I'm hit okay and I'm gonna set my blending mode here um, to screen and obviously this is a little too much so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to image adjustments levels and this is where kind of the magic happens right, we're gonna we're gonna go to the bottom of the mountain here I'm sure if, any, if you've worked with layers before you kind of understand this we're gonna go to there and then you can also bring this in um, right here, and this makes your rain either more visible or uh, kind of brings up the whites, as it were. And uh, now whenever I drag the center slider here, this is when the rain becomes looking more, a little more like rain. All right, you can kind of adjust this to taste. All right, so I'm gonna hit okay. I kind of like that. Um, now, again, we got to kind of address these uh, little areas at the top and the bottom here. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to click my Move tool. Now, I always have Show Transform Controls checked up here. So as soon as I hit the Move tool, they already show up. But you might have to go to Edit Transform. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down Alt and Shift as I drag. And it'll drag out from center until those pieces there go away. All right, I like that. I hit OK now. Um, I'm going to kind of make this a little more of my maybe background layer here. So I'm going to use a mask. I'm going to add a mask here because we're going to add a couple of different um, layers of rain. I'm going to take a real soft black brush here. And I'm just going to kind of, and you can also use the eraser tool if you're more familiar with that, but I'm going to use the mask tool. I'm just going to mask this out because I'm going to I'm going to say that this rain is falling behind me because this is maybe just a little further away. And then um, I'm going to kind of mask it off me. I'm going to make a smaller brush. You can make your brush smaller or bigger by using the bracket keys. And I'm gonna do this a little sloppy, but you can you can get kind of precise here. As long as you're using a kind of a um, soft brush, though, you can kind of hide some of the effects there. Um, some of your blending, you don't have to be too precise. 
All right, well, we're gonna do one more layer and you can add as many of these as you want, but we're gonna, for the purpose of this, I'm gonna just add one more. So you add one more layer. I'm gonna go um, edit, fill again. We're gonna do the same, same thing. We're gonna go 50% gray. And then uh, this time what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and set this to screen so I can see what I'm doing and see the effect it's already having. I'm gonna go to filter noise, add noise. I'm going to add a little more noise on this one because this is going to be my foreground rain. It should be probably a little thicker. All right. Hit OK. I'm going to go uh, filter, blur, uh, motion blur. All right. Now on this one, I'm going to add a little bit of it. Maybe the wind is blowing it a little bit. So I'm going to just kind of rotate it a little more on here. And I'm also going to set the distance a little less because it's going to be foreground rain. All right, you can already kind of see it here, the way it's overlaying on each other. I think that's kind of cool. I'm going to drag distance down just a little more. All right, and the same thing. I'm going to go up to uh, image adjustments levels. And as you can see, the rain is starting to take shape there. And that's about it. I, again, I can kind of go through masking stuff out. You can adjust the levels to taste. As you see, it can have different effects. I'm gonna, after I'm done, I'm going to... Now, another thing I've seen some people do is they will merge these layers. I'm going to go say Merge Down. Apply mask now. Yeah. All right, and some people go to filter, um, distort, and then uh, twirl, and just give it like the just the slightest little twirl there. That's subtle, but. It's a little like it's been blown by the rain there. So anyway, that's my rain tutorial. I hope that's been useful to you. And um, for the 365 Days Project video podcast, we'll see you next week.